so here we are the next day and there's still supposed to be a little bit of a blow today southeast so we found a little bay just up whale channel a little further called home bay that we're going to check out and from what i've read it's fine to be there in the southeast but nothing that's northerly or if there's any outflows from Douglas Channel but that would knock off a few miles for today uh, to get to our next destination tomorrow and if it's not nice out there then we'll just come back in here and drop the hook again had leftover chili and corn fritters for breakfast so that was good and we're just getting ready to uh, depart whale channel there's a really good chance we're going to see whales so it's only about 12 miles that we need to go and uh, we'll just take our time and uh, keep our eyes out for whales Dublin Bay. We uh, had you know, whales when we were, well, a whale when we were coming into Whale Channel on our way to Cameron Cove, and we just dropped the anchor at Home Bay, and there's a pile of them. We've just arrived to home bay and just dropped the anchor and there's whales in the bay with us. And I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up but you can hear them breathing.
saw whales and whale sand on the way up here. So it's it's pretty magical. You just think of all of the the feed and the wild and how incredible creatures they are. Uh, you can see we heard a noise and thought, what is that? Is that the boat on the other side that we had seen before? And nope, it's it's whales in the bay. And this isn't a big bay. <laughs> They, they may be making their rounds. <laughs> Got silence. We can just uh, listen and watch. Yep. And we're pretty far back from them, so I feel good about that too. Yeah. Well, we've already dropped our anchor, so we're not. We're just sitting here. We're not moving. We're not running the engine. We wouldn't be disturbing them. Yeah, and if they come this way, well. What a show. Yeah, that's great, and we'll just stay quiet and observe them. So you like home bay? I like home bay. Yeah. Winter should, already. Should. Winter within five minutes of putting the anchor down. So you've had quite a show today already. Well, I haven't had a minute to uh, talk to the camera yet because we dropped the hook and there were whales in the bay with us. And this isn't a big bay at all. And I think I've already mentioned uh, don't anchor here in any kind of northerly winds or outflows from Douglas Channel, but from the forecast we heard, we should be good. It should be southeast. And I dropped the hook in 70 feet of water about, but it drops off right away really quick to over 200 feet. So there's a little shelf on the southwest corner of the bay that you can uh, drop the anchor. But yeah, we got here and I think it was two minutes after the anchor was set, 
we heard whales over on the shore on this side. Then we thought the whales left, and because we saw them, the, the last feed was on the point, and they went, we could hear them around the other side. And uh, then we heard them again over on this side. Now they've gone around the other corner. So while we were watching that, we started hearing a funny noise on shore somewhere in the woods, and it's a wolf howling. So hopefully the camera picked that up too, because I was uh, standing there. You, you, I don't know where he is, but we've been really busy since we got here. I haven't had a chance to sit down and relax yet. And tide's going in. I was going to scout the shore just because it's a really steep shelf. If you look at the chart, it just is a big sandy beach and it just drops off right away. But I don't think we're going to do any shore excursions because there is a wolf not too far uh, from what I could hear. And we'll keep our eyes open for them. Also for spirit bears or regular black bears or whales. Jeez, there's so much to see here. And we'll stay here the night. And then tomorrow we're off to a very special place, which I'm very excited about getting to. And uh, we'll spend the rest of the day just watching for wildlife in the water or on shore. And I hear the wolf again. So I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up, but there's a wolf right on the beach. And I think I'm positioned right. I was looking with the binoculars. And we're at the boat right now, at anchor, looking to shore. So it's almost the end of our day. Mm -hmm. It's almost dinner time. Which is getting close to 8 o'clock. <laughs> we had a late lunch. I mean, by the time we got here, and then we had to watch whales and wolves and listen to all sorts of amazing sounds. So, a late lunch, and we've been relaxing. And now, it's almost time for dinner. Hey, what have you found? Well, it's after dinner and I've been watching for wolves on the beach all afternoon since we saw that one earlier and we just couldn't resist coming to shore. <laughs> I had to check out where this wolf was sitting. So uh, right where I am is where the wolf was earlier uh, when I got it on film there. And there's lots of tracks around and it would be awesome to see it again. Uh, maybe not right at this very moment, but it's a nice uh, beach and a nice evening. Wow, this bay is pretty incredible. You said you'd looked at it on the charts before, but never stayed here. Yeah, I've seen this bay numerous times. I'm always looking on the charts for spots to stop, and I've always thought, oh, it's kind of open to the north and deep. Uh, like a, with a quick shelf, uh, like a little shelf, but it's on the charts as a, as a, having a good bottom, a mud and sand bottom, I think it was. And uh, if you don't have 
northerly winds or outflows this is awesome it's a great spot and we've seen so much wildlife since we've been here and heard wildlife the wolf howling earlier and uh, seeing it and the whales so uh, the weather helps too of course but uh, yeah we just couldn't couldn't resist had to come to shore and check it out and I like seeing all the tracks and uh, knowing these tracks were laid down when I was watching the wolf is pretty cool. So we'll poke around for a little bit and then head back to the boat and that's it for the night I think. Um, we'll call it a day and we'll keep our eyes open until the sun goes down and see if uh, we see any other activity on shore here once we go back. But otherwise uh, we'll call it a night. You a picture yet? Yep. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> That'll make a good blooper reel photo.